Now let's understand a power frequency of the over voltages in the power system means it is subjected to 50 and the 60 hertz of the system. So we know that the power frequency of the over voltage which is going to occur in the power system they are much more concerned in the case of EHV system like the, if the voltage is uh, around 400 kV and the above. Some of the main causes which is going to be some of the causes uh, for the power frequency and its harmonics over voltage are given below. So these are the four things that is first condition is uh, sudden loss of the loads okay subjected to the, the normal power. Then we have disconnection of the inductive loads or connection of the capacitive loads. Then we have Ferranti effect and unsymmetrical faults. Ferranti effect is nothing but receiving end voltage is greater than the sending end voltage because of the transmission line behave that like, behave like as a capacitance. So then we have unsymmetrical faults so like line to line, line to ground, line to line, double line, three phase, all the all the things, not three phase, double line to ground faults. Then we have saturation in the transformers, etc. So how are these four voltages subjected to the power frequency of the harmonics? with a frequency which is near to that the operating frequency which are going to cause during the tap changing operations by magnetic or ferro resonance phenomenon in the large power transformers. So resulting in there is a resonating over voltage due to series capacitors with the shunt reactors or the transformers. So duration of these over voltages may be uh, from 1 to 2 cycles or sometimes it may be a few seconds depending upon the over voltage protection which is going to be employed. Let's understand one by one that is sudden load rejection. Okay. So let's consider there is a generator which is connected to the transmission line okay. and uh, some of the load which is connected to that. Okay. So this is a generator G. So whenever there is a sudden load rejection on the transmission on the power system, so resulting in so this generator which is going to couple with the prime over, okay, this is a prime over. There is a contact, there is a coupling between a generator and the prime over, okay. There is a intercoupling between uh, these two, okay. This is nothing but we can call it as coupling. So whenever this is a load increasing primary has to take into consideration. If there is a load rejection means load reduces this primary has to reduce the what is the total input which is given to the generator. So if uh, the first condition is if suddenly this load rejection if it is discontinued at this point okay we are considering this is in fault at this point what will happen to your generator. So we know that if there is a sudden load rejection the speed governor and uh, automatic voltage regulator will uh, will do a action to restore the normal condition. But initially, what will happens? Uh, but initially, both the frequency and the voltage, um, both the frequency and the voltage, frequency and the voltage is going to increase. And approximate uh, voltage rise, which is given by the equation, V is equal to F divided by F naught into E dash in bracket 1 minus f by f naught excess and xe. The excess is nothing but the, the reactance of the, this generator which is uh, uh, the summation of the transient reactance of the both generator and the transformers and xc is nothing but the capacitor reactance of the line at the open uh, at increasing in the frequency and e dash is nothing but the voltage uh, the generator before the over speeding of uh, over speeding of the prime over and the load injection and f is nothing but the instantaneous increase in the frequency 
f naught is nothing but uh, uh, f naught is uh, subjected to the frequency of the normal okay so if uh, this increase in the voltage uh, it may be goes as high as uh, two times of the power rate value if uh, the system voltage is around 400 kV of the line then the voltage at the sending end which is going to affect by the line length and short circuit MEA at the sending end bus and reactive power generation of the line because we are going to considering both line capacitance, reactance and the center or series capacitors all those together. So hence this shunt reactance which is going to reduce to 1.2 to the 1.4 times of the current value. Next one is Ferranti effect that we know that if there is a long uncompensated transmission line, this is going to exhibit that there is an voltage rise at the receiving end. The voltage rise at the receiving end V2 is approximately, this is V2 is approximately, which is given by V2 is equal to V1 divided by cos beta L. So V1 is nothing but sending end voltage, L is the length of the line, V is uh, beta is nothing but uh, uh, phase constant of the line which is uh, given by this equation. So this is the approximate uh, a typical un uncompensated long transmission line having some uh, generators uh, okay, source of the EMF and uh, um, this inductance and the resistance and the end capacitances of the long transmission lines. Okay, About uh, 6 degree uh, if you are considering per 100 kilometer of the line at the uh, 50 hertz of the frequency okay by considering R L G C that's nothing but resistance reactance center conductance and the capacitance which is uh, which is discussed in the previous subject that omega what we considering is uh, angular frequency for the line so considering that uh, uh, considering that the line uh, capacitance is concentrated at the middle of the line under open circuit condition at the receiving end. Then there is a line charging current means uh, this is the open circuit at the middle end and there is a line charging current which is given by IC is equal to J omega C into V1 that is nothing but V1 divided by XC and uh, uh, the voltage so V2 is approximately which is going to be an equal to v1 into 1 minus of xl by uh, 2xc xl is nothing line inductance or uh, line inductive um, reactance and uh, this is the line capacitive reactance from this approximately um, from this approximate equation which is going to give a better approximation when the line distributed parameters like uh, uh, rlgc rlgc resistance reactance and conductance capacitance per length r now this is a equation which is going to give a more accurate value for the to calculate the Ferrand effect subjected to the, the lightly loaded conditions. Next one is ground faults and the effect. So if you considering that this is the vector diagram of an open circuited uncompensated line of uh, some Ferrand effect. Okay, at the middle point we are considering the capacitance. Uh, so this is reactance which is going to divide. So this is a phasor diagram which you can see here. So if there is in some uh, single end to ground faults which is going to cause there is a rise in the voltage in other healthy phases. So usually um, with solidly grounded system the increase in the voltage will be less than uh, the line to line means that if it is properly grounded the voltage will not be greater than that line to line voltage with effectively grounded system which is given as x0 by x1 that's nothing but x0 and r0 values are subjected to the zero sequence value of the reactance and the resistance x1 is nothing but a positive sequence reactance of the system so hence the rise in the voltage of the healthy phases usually does not uh, exceeds 1.4 times of the power rate value of the system. Next one we have saturation effect. So whenever the voltage above the rated value are going to apply to the transformers 
the magnitude of the magnetizing current increases rapidly and uh, maybe about of the full load rated current for 50 percentage of the over voltages so this the magnetized current or not in the formation of the sinusoidal in nature but are also will act like in peak waveforms so the third fifth and the seventh harmonic contains maybe half 65 percentage 35 percentage and 25 percentage of the exciting current of the fundamental frequency which have the corresponding to the over voltage of 1.2 volt values for the third and its uh, multiple of the harmonics if we are considering zero sequence impedance values are going to be more effective and if we are connected apart from a star to the delta then the windings which is going to suppress that we we understood in the uh, past system analysis that so if there is a fault current all the current which is uh, trying to pass into the legs of the transformers but in the case of the shunt connected capacitors and the lines capacitances which is going to form an a resonance circuit and will cause a high third harmonics of the over voltages so so when such over voltages are going to add it that's nothing but the over voltage uh, is going to rise in the lines may be significant for higher harmonics uh, there is a a series of resonance between the transformers inductance and the line capacitances will uh, occur um, which may be produces even higher voltages so that's why subjected to that the inductance and the behavior for the line capacitances which is going to be a more effective when we are dealing with the subjected to the over voltage in the over voltages and the lightning voltages in the system so that's why it's subjected to that the ehv and uh, ehv of the switching surges is uh, plays an a great role of studying the characteristics and uh, how we are going to minimize this effect is plays an important role for the designing of the power system